uh, where it's up to me and the producer to build a team of, of creative collaborators. So everybody in my process has a voice, has ideas. Um, it's up to me to make decisions mm -hmm. when, when some ideas don't seem to fit in the concept or, or something is mm -hmm. really worthy of changing the concept because somebody has such a great idea. But uh, so it's a creative collaboration, and every I see every actor as an artist in their own right. Mm -hmm. So they bring what they can creatively to the to the process, and then um, we make a play. The text is the beginning. The text, the, the words of Shakespeare are, are all we really have. If we're doing Shakespeare, we have to say his words, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, everything else is up to is up to the creative process. So um, once I get the text cut to what to say, you know, we always have to cut it to be about two hours, just mm -hmm. because modern audiences don't have much more time because we perform for schools so often. Mm -hmm. It really needs to be in a two-hour time frame. So once the text is cut. Then I go really visual, and I go, um, it used to be I'd go to the library, to the fine arts section, and just start taking art books out of the, and just laying out to find the palette of the show, to find the tone of the show, uh, whatever the text tells me about what era the play may fit best mm -hmm. within. Um, then I go to artists from that era, but uh, I, I feel like, Theater um, creates this storytelling opportunity where everybody can be a child again. And so even if you're 80 or 90 years old, I have friends who are in their 90s now, and they come to see a play and they are filled with the same kind of wonder. Like we humans, even though we age physically, our, um, our spirits and our, and our life energy really doesn't age at all.